Hey Cats fans, Ben Reeve here again from The Hoop Show and uh, this is part 7 of player previews for 2023. Uh, check out all the other uh, parts, parts 1 through 6 in the show notes, you'll find the links there as well. Uh, you'll probably even find the links for parts 8 and 9, the final two chapters, which uh, we're dropping one every day. So um, hopefully by the time, uh, maybe in a week and a bit, uh, they'll all be up there anyway. That's the plan. So, But anyway, without further ado, uh, this episode, there's only four players that we're going to review as part of this uh, section. Um, and it's Mark O'Connor, Tom Stewart, Brad Close, and Mark Blitzarves. So... What do I think about Mark O'Connor this year? Look, I don't think Mark O'Connor will play as many games this time around. Uh, I think our list has significantly improved on last year, which is pretty scary. Um, and I think one of the players that might suffer or might struggle to uh, be in our regular 22 is Mark O'Connor. I think he'll end up playing around 14 games, something around, something like that. Uh, but I think he's got a lot of pressure for spots at the moment. And um, look, I hope he, hopefully he um, he comes. Uh, well, he's, he's always been a good player, but uh, hopefully he, he goes up another level and and he proves me wrong. But um, I'm I'm just seeing a lot of competition. Um, and I, in years gone by, he's been guaranteed a spot in the side. I don't ne- necessarily think that's the case, and he probably doesn't demand automatic selection. So yeah, 14 games. Like I don't see him in the round one side. And I don't see him in the grand final side if we make it that far. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Look, um, that might be a little bit of a controversial take on that one. Um, but uh, I did think he played pretty well in the grand final um, against the Swans. So, but um, yeah, I just see uh, you can't get everyone in there. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, I'd love to love to get all uh, all listed players in the round one side and the grand final side. Uh, again, if we make it that far, it's an asterisk uh, there. Um, but um, you can't do it. It's p- impossible. Anyway, uh, so yes, don't have him there. 14 games, that's how it is. Tom Stewart, uh, he's going to be the captain, isn't he? Uh, I think he'll be the captain this year. Uh, I've got him playing uh, in round one, of course. Uh, I've got him playing grand final. Uh, he will definitely be there. He's probably our first pick, I'd say. Um, and probably around the 22 games, I reckon. Uh, we might miss a few here or there. Uh, hopefully not through suspension again, but uh, yeah, 22 games is probably a good number for him if we can get him through. Um, he hasn't he hasn't been on our list for for decades, but um, he did come in to the system quite late in terms of age. So um, yeah, I'm sure he's probably what is he nearly 29, 30, something like that. Sorry if I've aged a little bit there, Tom, um, but uh, he's still reasonably young in terms of seasons in the AFL, but um, in terms of uh, his actual age. He's, he's nudging the 30-year mark if he's not there already. I haven't done my fact-checking on that one just yet. So, yeah. Uh, don't have him as an All-Australian, though, this year. I've got him uh, maybe just having a slightly reduced year just because I think the All-Australian stuff... Uh, I don't know how much weight do you put on that, really, but... Sorry, not the All-Australian. Um, the captaincy side of things, which, I th- which I'm almost certain he's going to be the captain. Um, if he gets that, I think that'll be a bit more of his focus and... Um, helping out teammates and, and, and less about him and probably bringing others into the game a bit more. Uh, look, who else have we got? Brad Close, yeah, he's a gun round one, grand final, of course. Um, you know, another one that you'd almost pick straight away without even looking at the at the list. Um, I've got him pretty much playing every game this year, 25 games or thereabouts, so I uh, can't see him missing much. Uh, I don't think he'll be an All-Australian this year, so I haven't picked him... Uh, for that, um, still think he's probably just a touch below that level that you need to be. Uh, you've got to be for his size. Uh, is he a forward? Is he is he sort of a high forward mid? Um, I don't know. You've, he's got to be something special. There. There's probably one or two players in the comp. Uh, Tom Papley's one that's just an absolute star in that sort of small forward role. Um, but for for close his size, he's an absolute champ. And and you know anyone who watches this show knows we absolutely love uh, Closey. Uh, he's a champ. Um, he's he's pretty much my favourite player, um, and uh, I think he's got a lot of love out there as well. So um, look, yeah. So twenty five games for Brad Close. Our last one on this list is Mark Blitzarbs. Uh, he's a smoky for the um, for the captaincy role. He apparently is very uh, vocal on the field, giving directions, and gets around everywhere as well. So uh, I would not be surprised. Um, I'm still going. I'm still going to go with Tom Stewart for my pick, um, but I do have Blitz clearly being in the round one side, uh, clearly being in the grand final side, 
and uh, I think he's reasonably durable, so I'd have him around the 25 games this year as well. Um, I'd also give him another nod uh, for All-Australian, uh, so I think he's probably starting to get the recognition he deserves now, so um, I can see him doing it again, uh, playing a variety of roles, and um, and just it's hard to put him in a you know, defined role, I guess, as, as an All-Australian selector, but you, you make... You somehow find a way. They they did it for Pavlich all those years when he was playing in all you picked in all different positions in the old Australian team. So why can't you do it for Blitzarbs? Anyway, what did you think? Um, I think mate, what's the most controversial one? Probably Mark O'Connor, the the fourteen games and not not being in our best team at the start of the year and at the end of the year. Um, maybe you don't agree with that one. Maybe you do. Maybe there's some really anti. I'm not an anti Mark O'Connor. Don't get me wrong, Mark. If you're watching this, I still love you, but. Um, but as I said, uh, there's a lot of players to pick from and you've got to force someone out. Um, and probably he's the one that... I mean, 14 games is still pretty good. Um, but yeah, do I want him there on grand final day if I've got all these other players that are fit and healthy to pick from? Probably I'm going to just force him out, I'd say. Anyway, what did you think? What do you think? Let me know in the chat, in the comments. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. Uh, we're growing every week, so appreciate that. Much, much love uh, to our Patreon members. We really appreciate your support. It's five dollars. It's a coffee uh, a month if you want to support us. Get early access to videos, uh, some exclusive footy cards, digital footy cards that we put out, and there'll be more stuff coming in 2023 as well. So that won't be it. Um, so yeah, five dollars a month for a cup of coffee uh, can't do wrong, and it really helps us grow this channel. Anyway, catch us on the next one, uh, part eight, where we'll be looking at the new players coming in, all the new rookies coming in to the club. Anyway, Cats fans, I'm out. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.